Well everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel as you can see by the heading of the YouTube YouTube video um, Welcome to my quarantine um, For those who don't know, I was away um, I was away in Ibiza for a week And now I am quarantining and staying inside the house Away from everybody for two weeks So I'm just going to show you I'm going to break this into two parts So week one and week two So obviously this is week one because it's it's the part one of the vlog, um, so I'm just going to show you what exactly I'll be getting up to throughout the two weeks. And um, this is more so just to stay busy, stay active, because um, if you're not staying busy and not staying active, what are you doing? It's all about growing, it's all about grafting, so yeah. Um, came back yesterday and flew back in from Belfast. I mean, it was yesterday or the day before yesterday. Came straight down and now I've been in the house ever since. I unpacked straight away. Are you looking at this and are you one of those people that would unpack straight away or would you wait? Um, Ellie's one of those that would leave the suitcase there for a week. I definitely just could not, couldn't physically do that. Uh, so I unpacked yesterday, went through the wardrobes. I'll show you the wardrobes, how they're looking now. Let me know what you think, rate them out of 10, because I'm going to go through them again probably three or four times over the next two weeks or so. But yeah, give this video a thumbs up. Hope you're all staying safe and enjoying your weeks, your weekend. Um, and yeah. So this is the first wardrobe when you come in on the left of the house. Oh shit, what's going on up there? Jesus, they don't look good actually up there. But as you come down, they get kind of decent, like so. We have t shirts here on the left, on the right. And this is after a clear out, like I'm not even messing, there's like bags and bags of clothes that just getting cleared out. This needs to get cleaned up, doesn't it? Like, there's no need for it to look that messy at all. This is the jean drawer. This has had better days as well. Like I actually thought this looked decent by normally looking at it, but looking at through the camera lens here now. Not good at all. In here we have t-shirts, the drawer won't even open. Fucking disaster, disaster. I'm not showing you any more of them. Uh, I'll show you when they're clean. The only thing that does look clean is the shoe rack, which gets all of the attention, apart from those shoes sitting there. Oh, Brett, that's just an over there, sorry. So I did get some sort of tan while I was away, but I put on a bit of a belly. Boom, boom. So, uh, back to normality, back to normal eating, and um, back down a few pull ups there, a few press ups everywhere I go, and uh, hopefully get myself back into a bit of decent shape by the end of Peeling. To bits. Why are you barking at? Hey, hey! You're not going in. Why are you barking at? Why are you barking at? So, I'll give you a little tour of the back garden. You show me as well? Yeah? So mum and dad are mad for their flowers. Is where the absolute magic happens. There's be carnage, the watches and all come off. And myself and my dad are playing. Over here then, the shed. Some more plants. Bit of a glare on the screen there. Oh, nice looking in it. Peacock. Water fountain. What's that? Yeah, coming up. Are you? No? Will they be dippy? There we are. So, not too bad, not too bad. A little bit overcooked, obviously, if you wanted them really, really dippy. But today's a good day. You'll be watching Titanic now eating the eggs, but we're launching the caps. The Connor Clothing Caps at 7 o'clock or so. Uh, for anyone who is looking at this and doesn't know what Connor Clothing is, it's my brand set up a couple of weeks ago. They were very, very well. Um, obviously having a lot of difficulties as well. Trial and error with the brand, but yeah, caps are coming out tonight and I'm really, really delighted with how they turned out. Only a limited number of them as well. I think there's only like 50 of them or something that we're after getting in, so they're going to absolutely fly, but yeah. Exciting times there, hey. Now this is what we're at now. Cross trainer. Watching a bit of the office. What a setup. Quarantine is a class, I'll tell you. Although, the internet keeps freezing. I don't want to put my fish through the laptop. It's going good, it's going good so far. Here we are, we're back. Just thought I'd very quickly show you the, uh, the Art the Shave collection. Ombre leather. Unbelievable. Hugo Boss, Armani Code. Creed, uh, this is a different Creed, it's not the Creed. Um, 
What's great? An Olympus. Is great an Olympus or something? And um, we'll have that one in Sweden. Maybe Dad has that one. First, two of these are the Air Le Clown. This one is the best ad shave in the world for anyone who doesn't know. It is called Ombre Nomad from Louis Vuitton. It's actually quite similar to the Ombre Leather. One million. Dolce Gamana. Everyone has to have a bottle of Sauvage. Axis usually use this in the blacker. Half Andy every single weekend. Dolce Gabbana and then one of these like tester bottles and then obviously two deodorants and then like an aftershave. Bam. But top three. One, two, three. Monday off to an absolute flyer on the phone here to Ryanair for 17 minutes. Not good, lads. Not good. So my mum and dad are meant to be going away on Thursday. I booked them the flights. They told me yesterday they're not going, and uh, the flights are still going ahead, so they can't really just um like wait for. They have to just wait for a refund or something, but have to apply for it. So it's an absolute nightmare. But that's how good my Monday morning has been so far. Over on the whiteboard, we have plenty. I don't know where so close. We have plenty to be doing today. I'm not sure you can see that, but I swear by that whiteboard. So. Hello there. Let's bring you for a walk downstairs. As if you don't know what is downstairs at this rate. Going to fill up my water bottle. Done a bit of a workout. A few pull ups. Jeez, my eyes look blue. Don't they? They look mad blue or something. And we had done a bit of a workout in, this, in the oak slipper. And <laughs> a um, few pull ups. But now I'm going to go downstairs. Grab a bar from the fridge. Tough decisions of today, you know? What bar? Am I going to take from the fridge in a second? But first, let me get a snack. A little fat frog, is it? No, no. Oh, Jesus, what are So, Cadbury sent me a few of their bars during the week. Tripping, no. Caramello, no, not any more of that. Mint crisp, yup, that's what I'm gonna have right now. Oh, wait, boy, no, no. This is it for the uh, Monday night. Chilled out watching United. Good morning, everybody. So it is Tuesday, another day of lockdown. I'm trying to think to myself, what should I do today? I have a few things to do, but. I could realistically get done, done within an hour, so I'm trying to delay getting out of bed as long as possible. Like it's not a bad complaint. Half eleven now. Chilling out watching the office. I've had my Flavin's oats, the strawberry ones with a little teaspoon of peanut butter in there if you don't know. Then you need to know because they are gorgeous. Cup of coffee, nearly done. Probably have about three or four coffees a day. How many coffees do you have today? I'll just do this wardrobe very, very quickly. So this is the far end of the wardrobe, as you can see. I have more shoes in, in there. The Queens, Adidas, like runners, then like shocks, which I only got cleaned as well. I'm keeping them in here because I don't want to ruin them. And um, but down here is all my jackets. So like my favorite jackets. And um, I already did do a bit of a clear out here already. So I have a couture jumper, Montclair, and um, body warmer, and um, a boohoo bomber jacket. I haven't worn that yet. North Face jacket and um, purple Couture Club aluminium jacket. Not many people are fond of that, but I am kind of the goose like windbreaker. Nabajari, very very fond of these. I actually love wearing these, especially when the weather does get cold. Next up, then we have a Montclair. Like, let's bring that one out there and show you. What was called that? In the jacket cardigan. Couture Club jacket sleeves and all are all in on these for some reason. I should be fixing them. Before I'm showing you all this, and um, then a control club, then again after it, then my f one of my favorite top three jackets. Then at the end, Nabajari white one. I'll bring this out and show you. Hold on. Like so slick, half zip, such soft material on the inside, and it's very very thick. And then I have the kind of the goose jacket which I got in Toronto, and then my most recent designer jacket, the Montclair jacket from uh, New York. You wrecked? Yeah. Just in the garden. Doing a bit of work. 
Yeah, I yeah. tried to connect my camera to my phone and I couldn't do it. Hey, so I introduced it today. It is Wednesday. Um, Ellie says she has seven more days left in quarantine. I think I've got nine for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but I put up a QA and a yesterday on my Instagram, so I'm going to run through a number of the questions. Some of them are very, very interesting. Don't tell me it's gone. Don't tell me it's gone. Oh no. The website, the logistic and the graphics for it. The graphics, um, even with the back of the phone case here, the graphics were done by a few different people, a few different people. So um, the first one that I'd say was Andrew. So it's AB Graphics on Instagram. I'll leave that over the screen right now. He helped out big time with the graphics. Um, as for the website, a lad called Tom from Viral One Media as well. I'll leave that on the screen right now. Ellie got her website built off them as well. Very, very professional. Um, but yeah, they built the one for Ireland Yomes. As for the Connor Clothing, that's just a Shopify website. So if you're selling a product, you can just do it through Shopify. It's dead easy and dead handy to do. In that regard, just move you down there. Um, next question then, moving on. If anyone ever has any questions like that as well, just drop me a DM. I'll be happy to answer anything at all. Um, why didn't you and Ellie isolate, uh, self-isolate with each other? Because in doing that, then she'd have to stay in mine for two weeks, and then I'd, or else I'd have to stay in hers. And I've my work here in my house that I have all around me to be doing, and then she obviously has all her makeup and her makeup room and her cameras and stuff out there. So it's grand. It's two weeks. We have to be away for a week together, anyway. You know I so we'll probably be together for two weeks after this, um, and then that'll be that. So it's flying, and I'm happy out with it. You know, um, it is what it is, and this is it. Um, do I want kids? Absolutely, but not for about five years or so because I can barely handle myself to be honest with you and I just imagine trying to handle two kids like honestly and I don't have my own house imagine trying to I would never want to rear a kid in my own house um, without being set up and ready to be there for the kid and fun for the kid and all that you know what I mean um, are you going to make jumpers or hoodies absolutely Jumpers, hoodies, shorts, and tracksuit bottoms are all coming and dropped too for Connor Clothing. And uh, for anyone who's looking at this who doesn't follow Connor Clothing, tag them on the screen right now. Drop them a follow. Support the brand, support the setup. Um, next one. What was Dublin Airport like in Dublin? Was it open? We flew from Belfast. Belfast didn't have anything. Well, it did actually. It's actually a nice airport. I had like this restaurant bar open, but you have to scan the menu. You order your drinks to the table. You don't move. It's handy old service, but you'll be waiting on your point for a while. It's the only thing you know, but. It is what it is. Any tips for visiting Cancun? We have another YouTube video up on Ellie's YouTube channel. I think it has a quarter of a million views as well. So head on over there. I'd love to go back to Cancun before the end of the year. Hardest thing about setting up your own business. Just, um, it's it's kind of just putting it all together. You know what I mean? Like I'll be, I'll be well and good talking about it and talking about this and talking about that. But it's putting it all into practice and actually getting it done and over the line is the main thing. But yeah, you, you get what you put in, you know? Um, there's a question yesterday I don't know on my Instagram. More of a debate. Can you still be 24 and be giving your girlfriend, boyfriend, friend, bro, sis a wedgie? Don't even know how to answer that. Don't even know, but I, I, I answered it on my Instagram yesterday saying that uh, it depends on how, how bad the wedgie is. Like, if it's just a little wedgie, it's grand. But if it's a huge wedgie, it's a bit much to be giving your sister a bad wedgie, isn't it? Like, there's no point in that. There's no fun in that. Although I'm an only child, so I won't be giving anyone a wedgie except my mom and dad. But that'd be a bit, that'd be mad. As you give me dad a wedgie. He's making me dinner or something, a bit nuts. Um, am I really a poet? <laughs> no, I'm not a poet. I'd love to be a poet. How do you become an influencer? I don't know. Honestly, don't have the answer for that. Just to keep constantly putting up stuff on Instagram, I suppose would be the first thing to do. Set up a YouTube channel, hammer on TikTok, hammer on Snapchat, and kind of grow your name in some regard. You know, um, so many more there, but I don't even harbor hammering on about them. Favorite drink. First thing that came to my head there was a Dr. Pepper, but I haven't had a Dr. Pepper in years. Um, and I like Fanta Lemon on holidays and Fanta Orange, but yeah, I'll leave it at that. Does online hate ever get to you? It does, it does, yeah. It definitely does get to me. I try to throw a blind eye to it constantly, though. I try to do, do nothing at all. Off Twitter now, completely blocked it, blocked my account, ended my account, but that's that. People can be negative wherever they want, but yeah, it does get to me, you know. Um, but we won't harp on about that. Um, yeah, that's it. I won't do any more questions. Plan for the rest of the day. Bit of work to do on the laptop. I haven't opened the laptop. A few games of Fortnite. Um, I am going to ask my mum to go up to Argos and get a chess board for us. I bought a chess board yesterday and have a few games of chess. Yeah, hopefully you're liking the video so far. Give it a thumbs up. 